everyone welcome back to another video and if it's your first time here please consider leaving a subscribe like the video and comment down below liking the video and commenting help out the algorithm a bunch so if you guys could please just do me that solid do both of those things i love seeing your comments i absolutely love it it makes my day i love when you guys go back and forth i love when you guys also disagree and hate what i say it's hilarious to read your comments and it makes my day either way so guys listen comment hit that like button helps out the algorithm so let's get to the topic at hand here in this video i have some stuff written down so i might be looking down at my piece of paper here and uh we're gonna get ready to go so will the yankees make a big move after the lockout and i was going to title this video will the yankees be active uh, of course, they're going to be somewhat active. We need to fill the roster. In fact, they've been active recently. We've signed, what, four players? Uh, Ender and Ciarte, to, just to name one. And he's a three-time Gold Glove Award winner. Fantastic. He's not going to set the world on fire, hit 215, but he's the best defensive outfielder that's on the, the roster and in the organization, possibly at least. So at least we have that. And... um. So we, we've been active, but will they make a big move? And me and my brother-in-law were actually talking about it over the weekend, about how there were big fish on the market, guys like Max Scherzer, guys like Corey Seager. That, you, you could say his, his swing is made for Yankee Stadium. And we didn't sign him. In fact, we got outbid by the Texas Rangers twice. Simeon. They gave him the extra year, the seventh year, and Seager. We're the New York Yankees. Why are we getting outbid for? I understand Hal's a penny-pinching son of a gun right now for whatever reason, but we're the freaking Yankees. We, we, we make the most money in the, in the league. Why are we penny-pinching? We need to improve this team. We can't r run back the same team. So listen, what big moves? If the Yankees do make a big move, I, I have a few on here. And then I have the potential outlook if the Yankees do absolutely nothing if they stay pat. So, okay, let's look at the first move. Signing Carlos Correa, trading for Matt Olson, and also signing a pitcher. That would be ideal. We need a shortstop. He's a platinum glove winner. Me personally, I would rather stay, but it, I would, I'd rather stay away, but he would make one heck of an impact on the team. Then trade for Matt Olson. You need that first baseman. Left-handed swing. 39 home runs last day for Oakland. You could say he was made for Yankee Stadium. And then you got to sign a pitcher. If it's a Kershaw, a Rodone, you need to sign a pitcher behind Garrett Cole. Two or three in that rotation. That's what the Yankees need. So then the second move. I'm looking at signing Freddie Freeman. Trading for Brian Reynolds. And then you would have Peraza as your starting shortstop in this scenario. And then also signing a pitcher. So you got Freddie Freeman, which most likely he's not leaving Atlanta. If he did, my prediction is he's going to go to L.A., the Dodgers. But I don't think he's going to leave Atlanta. But if he did, if he came over to the Yankees, if we decided to give him a decent deal that he wants, Freddie, welcome. A lefty. Great average hitter for first baseman. 30 home run hitter. Great average hitter. Listen, sign me up for him. 900 OPS consistently. I want him. I want, I want Freddie Freeman. Then Brian Reynolds. Instead of using the package that you would use for Olsen, use a similar one on Reynolds. That's what I would do. But that also means Peraza stays. You have to figure out a way to keep Peraza, and then you insert him as your starting shortstop rather than signing a stop gap or spending a bunch of money on Correa. The, the next one we're going to go with is trading for Reynolds again, signing a pitcher, and then re-signing Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo liked playing with the Yankees. He, he was a good fit there. He was an okay hitter. His power, seven home runs with the Yankees. Not that great, I believe. But he was a great clubhouse guy. Look at the impact that Todd Frazier had on the team the half season he was there a few years ago. Rizzo, 
I believe, had a similar impact, at least in the clubhouse. And a guy who plays really hard. And the Yankees need that. A guy that plays hard and that wants to win. So Rizzo, I would love for them if they brought Rizzo back. Love it. Will they? I don't know. The next one. Trade for catcher and pitcher if you're looking to if you're looking to Oakland. Now, this is what? Uh fourth on my list. I I mean, the uh, tra- trading for a catcher and a pitcher from Oakland and not getting Matt Olson probably not going to happen. You know, but get, getting Murphy at catcher, trading for Montas, Manea, Bassett, That'd be nice. And then signing Freddie Freeman on top of that. Obviously, Peraza is your shortstop at that point. And then the, the, the last one. Signing Trevor Story. Trading for Matt Olson or signing Anthony Rizzo. And then signing a pitcher. That, that's our fifth scenario that I came up with. If, if you guys disagree with any of this, let me know down in the comments. Now, this is the do-nothing move. Your catcher, Gary Sanchez, which that's going to happen. He was tendered. I don't think they're, they're going to trade him. There wasn't any talk, really. Luke Voigt at first base. If the Yankees do nothing. Luke Voigt's your first baseman. Luke Labor Torres at second. DJ LeMahieu at third. You're, then your shortstop is Gio Rochella. That's your stopgap guy. Not Peraza, Gio Rochella. Joey Gallo in left field. In center field, Aaron Hicks. Then I guess... Floreal and Ciarte if he makes the team. Right field Aaron Judge, DH Giancarlo Stanton. Now, they should not put Giancarlo Stanton at DH, but I'm saying I'm being a pessimist with this lineup that I just gave you guys. That's the do nothing. That's if the Yankees do absolutely squat. They don't even trade for, they don't even sign one of those players that I named. This is a do nothing list. And listen, if the Yankees do nothing, a lot of Yankee fans, especially me, we are going to be very upset. So they have to do something. Do you think the Yankees are preparing for a big move? A big move? Or just a move that we need to make? Like signing and bringing back Anthony Rizzo? Or trading for Matt Olson, Or breaking the bank and signing Freddie Freeman? Not going to happen. But doing that. Or trading for Brian Reynolds? We're signing Trevor Story to a one-year deal for a lot of money. Are we going to do that? Do you think that's going to happen? Or do we just stay pat? Let me know what you think down in the comments, guys. Love to see what you have to say. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already liked the video. And comment down below. All right, everyone. Thank you all for watching. This is Joe. Signing out.